All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm King Abaddon, and in today's video, we're back with XCOM Chimera Squad. I just realized that in the last episode I recorded, my mic might have been face up at the end. I'm not sure if it flipped while I was walking around doing stuff between recordings or what. But either way, we're back with this. Um, we can put Terminal on the team for now since we can't move these two yet. Although these two won't be back on the team. Um, okay. Okay, so I was going to put Terminal. <clears throat> Wait, terminal. Yeah, I don't care. On the team over him and Cherub. Cherub is going on the team. Okay, cool. Terminal and Cherub are on the team over those two. That way, um, they can level up as well because Godmother's going to finish the thing that allows us to gain more XP permission and these two are gonna start working on improved i mean improved pistols improved shotguns i don't think it really matters i said i was gonna look at this one i might as well do it now right it's only gonna take us two days to finish this uh dragon rounds i assume is gonna make uh do fire damage and then the incendiary grenade is fire i don't want either of those necessarily i do want to see what the bubble grenade is though and then, I don't know what the Talon rounds could have done, but, oh well. Maybe in the next run through, we will have a, more of an incentive to go for the other weapons besides shotguns, considering all of our people who have shotguns now. Um, so, let's go ahead and we can send the APC here. Yeah, we'll send the APC here. And now, Patrick finished Star Initiative. And uh, say, sanctioned cooperation. So those two are out of there. Let's see what we have going on. An epic submachine gun. We already have one epic submachine gun. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this mission. I did say I was going to do it in this episode too. So, you know, might as well. Uh, let's um, go and see her. I think I thought we had an epic SMG. I think that's in my other save, which I keep forgetting. Okay. So, your two guns are already set up. I really don't know why you have the targeting system. But whatever. Okay, so we'll give you a scope and a an advanced stock. I don't know why, but she seems to miss the most shots, which is really annoying. Uh, we're going to take the targeting system from you. And we'll give you whatever's left after we configure their two guns. I think a targeting system for you is going to be fine. Because you seem to hit a lot of your shots. Although she did get the scope. No, because if she grazes, well, she grazes also. I think, oh, hang on. The targeting system also applies when there's a graze. I think. I'm pretty sure it did. And then we'll give you the scope and the auto loader. You only have one piece on your gun. No, you have an event scope too. I guess when you shoot, you will hit at this point. And... You're... We still haven't had a melee hit, which I figured is what was going to happen. So we'll give you the Flux grants immunity to disorientation and stun. We'll give you the hazmat. That way when you uh, walk through poison, you won't take damage. We'll give you extra padding and you extra padding. We'll give you the... Uh, mm, the breach charge, I guess. And we'll give you the hollow scanner. We can give you venom rounds. Uh, we can't have multiple rounds, can we? No, okay. So we'll give you... The poison over time, I think, is going to be pretty good. So, Venom Rounds. Uh, Nano Med Kit should be in here, right? Yeah. No, we don't want you to have one. We want, I'm going to give it to... Okay, that. And then, what type of grenade do we want to bring with us? Do we still have the turn code? I think so. So... Oh, what's the blue screen round? Named for its inexplicable computing phenomenon common for before the war. Blue screen rounds... Wreak, wreak havoc on targeted electronic system. These oh blue screen like like a hacked computer deal plus five damage against robotic enemies. That makes sense. That would have been more useful against sacred coil, but we're not against them anymore. We're against the great talents. So we'll take a plasma grenade then. And for you, we'll take uh, the we'll take the AP rounds with you. 
And we'll also take the we'll take the gas grenade. No. Do I have a different explosive? I guess a shot grenade? Which what does this do? Reclamation needs to in incapacitate both organic and mechanical targets led to the MK1 Electro Fisher adapted from XCOM standard EMP grenade. So it does two damage to robotic enemies. Send units in an affected area for a short term time deals damage to robotic enemies. But if it stuns in an area, that's still going to be useful because it will stop enemies from having turns. It's basically another version of Stupid. So hopefully that's going to actually work out how I think it will. Otherwise, it might be a waste. But we're going to assume it's going to be good. A short time ago, Gray Phoenix muscled into this android factory. At first, we thought it was for the androids, but they aren't taking anything. Interesting. All right, all units in it's plus dodge, minus one damage during the breach. Successful shots will surprise. We want to send someone through here. I think you got the scope. Can't remember. Plus to dodge will give to Axiom. Hard to hit will give to Verge. Plus five defense will give to uh, Terminal. And we want him to go first. Can't just do it that way. We'll have him go first. And we'll end out with... We'll end out with... We'll end up with Verge. That way, if anything's left me. that's um, aggressive, he'll be able to lift them and cancel it. Still doesn't wear shoes. The feet of... Oh, he has weird feet, too. I don't know if those are his actual feet. A lot of interesting stuff we're realizing about the feet of our characters. Those two are normal. Either he has special boots or his feet are robotic. Ooh, this might be a good time to use Phalanx, actually. That way, you're going to absorb all of that damage. And you're going to go for, let's go for the uh, Python. You can go for, yeah, let's go for them. You have the AP rounds? No. They killed them though. And then you can, you can just take a shot now. Because we won't take any damage from these aggressive enemies. They're all going to go for Cherub. Who's going to take all the damage. I don't know why it went for him. I don't know why it's going for them. What is what is failings for if it doesn't actually work? Only one shot. We got three shots and only one went for him. That's dumb. Uh, Alright, lightning cans. Off rip. We can take out the... Oh, I thought we did more damage to stuff. Alright, well. We'll give a kinetic shield. To I guess Axiom. Shields up. This has a chance to stun, so we're gonna test it out right now. Cause we don't want both of them to get a shot, right? So you can use a shot grenade on them and potentially stun. Can we get both? Be nice if we can get two. Throwing Let's test grenade. this out too. I don't know why I'm doing both at the same time. Okay, they are both stunned. Okay, so you lost your turn completely. You can only shoot or move on your turn. So we'll then take a shot at anything that's really gonna take damage at this point. AP rounds too. And then we're going to shield bash the number two unit. Uh, it, it is gonna leave us out, so we're only gonna have half cover, but that's fine too, because that means their turn is gone. We were able to negate both of their turns and be okay, basically. Now you can you can throw a plasma grenade on someone. You should start dealing damage to them. Plasma out. They are still full on health. Shredded sure their armor. I think it broke their cover too. We have a 98 on them though. 92 on them. 91? Okay, I was gonna say at least a 91 on them. Come on. Alright, cool. So we're to take them out. Uh, the rest of you surrender. You psych up. On the edge. And you have a shield, so wherever you go, you'll be fine. We use smash on. We can hit them too. Let's use smash on them. We might take them out all the way, or add another effect, either way. 
Uh, did not expect them to have tongue pour and bind. Interesting. I'm okay. Just banged up. All right, we'll use stupor yep, on you, which I think is gonna uh, let release cherub from that bind. Yeah. Okay. So that releases cherub from the bind, and then we'll use battle madness. On, I get you. I mean, you're the only Enemies option. All around you. Maybe I should have tried Battle Madness on the um, on the Python first. That way they might have let go and shot, pa shot at the Paladin. Hit? Alright, cool. Either way, it's fine. I think Cherub is still going to be out in the open here, so they're probably going to take another shot at him. Or not. Interesting. I think this is the first time I've seen the Mind Merge. Oh, okay. I got it now. He's a psionic... Uh, a psionic support agent or unit I guess we'll give this to her we'll take a shot we can hit them for 97 they're the only thing that we can really go for yeah they're really the only thing that we can go for it's annoying that I have to shoot at this shield I wanted to try and take out the um the Paladin first. Oh, AP rounds though. I keep forgetting. Ah, oh, damn. The shield is not. It doesn't go through shield. Damn. Makes sense though. Uh, you're finna bite someone, aren't you? Well, you bit the one person who was both immune to the poison and had a shield, so it didn't really matter. And his charge is going up again. Now you. You can use Subdue. If we get to right here, we might be able to uh, take a good shot at them. If not, then Verge will be able to use Mind Flay on them. Even if you can't kill. You will do at least two damage, though, because you have your, um... Your... Your stock. She has the stock, I believe, because I thought she missed more often. You can use Psych Up. Who wants and then some? smash and hopefully not hit uh uh cherub only three damage but it disorientated we can use battle madness on you actually Show and you might turn and shoot at the paladin and then we're gonna use no mind spray which will kill both of them either way disorientation move removed okay so kind of helped them out because they gave him a free turn but this is going to take the rest of them out oh, anyway so it doesn't even mind. matter does he heal from Clear this i can't ball. remember and if we have a door we're going to send axiom through because his rage is up high which is why i risked this um, factory has a heliographic transmitter they're currently accessing that system uh helio what now essentially uh big laser used for secure optical communication uh like a flashlight you can only see if it's pointed directly at you exactly so we're looking for an invisible flashlight almost exactly i'll call it out if i see it but if it's invisible eh never mind oh my goodness cherub is kind of dumb but i mean it's hard to dislike him entering through here will mark your units until the end of the encounter that's annoying but it's kind of what we have to do so we'll send him through first cherub second what does cherub have who has our does terminal have it yeah we'll give it this to you because if they're gonna mark us we need to mark them back right and then we'll send in verge with the medi patch and cherub blast all right let's breach They only missed one HP, so that actually might have been a little bit useless, but whatever. We have a lot of stuff going on in this breach, too. So let's see here. Hollow targeted, likely to do a lot of damage. I think Verge might have the AP rounds, though. Doesn't matter. Because I forgot your shotgun, does your shotgun shred or something has to be there? I don't know why his uh, stuff is shredding, but whatever. Take them out. Okay, okay. Verge, you're going to be used to stop this Legionnaire from taking their shot. Or just shooting at them. Didn't mean to do that. Not necessarily upset, I guess. Because it did hit. And I guess we're going to take this shot too, just to avoid that damage. Cool. You have the AP rounds. Makes sense, because your gun does the least amount of damage. Shit. 
Okay, okay. I'm gonna psych you up. No, not Adreno Charge, not yet. Or Surge. Yeah. And then we'll use Smash. We're gonna go way out here. Kraken Skulls. We're gonna use Smash on him and then get this uh, Cash too. Right, it's gonna give us that chance. Okay. Contraband cash. You're gonna move up. Ooh, didn't think about this. Missed though, so not bad. Target. Um, you're gonna take a shot on really whoever we can see, right? Uh, so I guess on them. Didn't really have anything else to do. That's why I gave her the, the scope because she seemed like she misses the most shots. Uh, and then also, she has the um hollow targeter, which means that battle madness on. No, we'll use stupor on them. Which meant that she is still marked either way. At this point, Verge probably has a 100% chance to hit them no matter what. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Do I take that shot, though? I don't think I need to, because they don't get a turn this round. And we'll use Battle Madness on the Adder, because they're next in the turn order. And they'll probably be easier, since the Paladin is a Psionic. I think Psionics just automatically have an, um, a, uh, a bonus against... Damn! A bonus against taking that type of damage. Taking effects from psionics, I mean. Alright. We'll give a kinetic shield out to Axi Axiom. There. We'll give a kinetic shield out to Axiom. And then we're gonna take a shot. 98% chance, even cause even though they're in cover too, it's pretty good. Did that kill? No, they don't have armor. All right, you're gonna use smash on this one. Making waves. Didn't kill, not bad though. I was hoping for an effect more than an actual kill. Again, not bad. We're charging up a uh, cherub. What's that? Two or three for him? Plus forty mobility and forty dodge. All right. You can use cooperation right now for axiom. Who's gonna use Smash again, but on number them. Hello, number three. That way they can't even potentially get that time. Hostile kill. And then you can use Oh, you're out of range for subdue, huh? That's not bad. We can just take the shot. Or we can just do or I mean they reload between encounters either way, so it doesn't matter. Again. Cool. And a graze killed anyway, so actually yeah, that was Next fine. Time. Hit or miss, I was gonna kill. And at this point, the transmitter should be in here. Which are going to take They're the time transmitting to... transmitting an enormous amount of data to... Um, well, it looks like it's pointed toward the sky. Well, it can't be a starship. It must be something with a predictable orbit. Like a satellite. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Successful shots on enemies will crit, and we can't even do this one. So first up, we're going to send through is Axiom. Looks like his armor was shredded. Oh yeah, he does have that too. Damn. He has a chance to panic enemies to this point, but... Oh wait, no. Terminal. Because you can heal. Duh. Almost missed that chance. Not paying attention to who we have on our team. Insufficient ammo there, and then Cherub. Is that what she's carrying? No, she has the hollow skinner. Okay, I was gonna say. Keep behind me. I've seen worse. Uh. All right, what's going on in here? Successful shots will crit, and you have a uh, an eighty percent chance to hit here. So take it. Is that dead already? No. Okay. You have the lowest chance to hit, and I'm pretty sure I gave you the scope. So doesn't matter. All right, um, we only can see these two. I missed it, two damage. Kill this thing, please. I was gonna say, if we don't kill this thing after taking three shots on it, we got something going wrong with our team. Okay, you're panicked. Okay, so we did get it to work. That's the transmitter, that's what we That's need to the take transmitter. Out. Find an angle and destroy it. What are you at? Your rage is at five already, so we're gonna psych up again. Pumped up. And then we're going to use smash. If I use the drink oh wait, hang on a second. We have a lot of enemies grouped up right here, don't we? So we kinda wanna hit them with something a little 
at least hit these two, right? That way they can maybe shoot each other. Although I might remove the panic that that one has by giving it an extra turn, basically. But we're going to do it anyways. If I can get the right angle on it, Jesus. Shit. Come on, there, there it is. Throw Take it while I have it. Oops, hit my microphone. It's been a while since I've done that though. Maybe because I'm getting better at this whole YouTubing thing. Even though, since I am about a year in. You oh, you did this. take the shot. Damn. And it shredded its armor. Yeah, shredded armor. They both fucked each other up. And then we're going to get in there and we're going to hit Pop this person. Disorientate. So they're going to be less likely to hit their shot. If they even take a shot, they might not miss. Miss? Nope. Okay. Still standing. Barely. I forgot You're about them having a turn. We're trying to break that though, so getting closer to it is probably going to be not useful for them. Is that? Are they going for Axiom too? And they hit? I'm leaking everywhere. He's leaking you everywhere. A There's look. a lot of shit happening right now, and I'm not really uh, sure how I feel about it. Uh, does this end my turn? I will probably will since, um, what you call it? This Legion, we have a 55% chance. We might as well try and take them out there, right? Because their turn is, well, it's not necessarily coming up, but it is. I mean, just get rid of them, right? We also have to get someone up top to be able to take those shots on the, um, on the... Unleash your frustration. The thing would hit a break. Damn, I cannot it. get that out for a second. You gonna take this shot again? No? Okay, we'll use stupor on you for sure. Falls away. So Panic and Berserk. So he's not gonna do anything. So now we have lightning cans. What do we wanna give a shield? We definitely wanna give a shield to Axiom first, right? Axiom first, right? A axiom? I can see it highlighted on the side. I've never used that. I, show no, it, I probably should. It'll rejection. make it things go a little bit smoother instead of clicking on every little thing saying all of their names, right? Okay. Could do that. And it'll do damage to that Python, too. Yeah, maybe this is the move, then. Oh, and it did critical damage up there, so we got a lot next. out of that turn, actually. They're likely to shoot at X unless they move. They still might though. Yeah, that looks like Axiom. It, how does it still shred armor though? That's annoying, but whatever. He gains a charge. Alright, you're gonna use Smash, but who else can we reach? We can reach those two. We can reach the number seven guy. Oh, we can reach number seven. We can reach number two. After this, I think I'm gonna have Verge go up there. Oh no, move. wait. Don't hit Cheryl? Oh, okay, that's fine. I'm scared about the Mutant Rage because it says Berserk, which means, I mean, as we've seen, we make our enemies Berserk all the time with Verge. Uh, who's probably gonna get shot right now. You definitely want this. You joined this team, didn't you? Uh, we can use this on. Cherub. Who's going to move over to here? Now this turn is still gonna come after theirs. So Cherub can move over to here and use lightning hands on them to maybe do some extra damage before. Never mind. Oh, man. Got to start stop talking about damage before it happens. Okay, we'll give it to Cherub because I'm finna send Cherub up on his turn. And then uh, we'll use... We'll use this on yourself. And we'll take a shot on you. Or we can use Team Up on Axiom to get him in a better position. Yeah, let's use team up on Axiom to get him in a better position. 
and then we're going to overwatch this area because if I step into okay we're just gonna prepare then yeah let's just use preparation because she has a terrible shot on him there's no point in really taking that all right where can we move from here over to here all right bridge can does mind flay in turn Damage is mind flavor. Uh, that's just about dealing damage. Kill instantly. It'll do two to three damage while his shot has a 74% chance to do five to seven damage. I'll take that over the guaranteed lower amount. That, armor that worked is a problem. out. Okay, kinetic wounded shield to Axiom. Protected from all angles. Can we hit them with a shield dash? We can't get up there. Okay, well, I guess we'll just take a shot then from here, right? Yeah, we have a 100% chance to hit. There we go. Gone. That was impressive. Can you get up there? Can we get anyone up there yet? We can't. Okay. So, we'll just have you overwatch that. Uh, we'll have you move over to here. And then overwatch this entrance. I'll shoot anything that moves. We'll send Axiom up to here. It's, he, he'll, we're going to use him to break this thing because I think his gun is going to do more damage than Cherub's does. And Cherub's gun has the AP rounds, which are going to be more useful against the enemies that are coming through. So is this Verge? You can move to this point. Crossing over. Pick up your pace. Damn. We had to use extra. We had to use someone else's time to get you in your position, but you're talking about other people need to pick up the pace. Real interesting. Real interesting. Next time I'll aim for the soft parts. I don't think there's many soft parts on these units, to be honest. So. All right. Drop a shield on Verge. And then. Take a shot on this legionnaire. Guaranteed to hit, so we will kill. Locking down. Terminal. Uh, you can uh, just overwatch this entrance again. I think. Gotcha. Hey, yeah, I think that's the best move for her. We are counting on you. You can take a shot on this again. Very interesting. I'm glad it says 100% because I definitely would have been pissed if you aimed at the fucking wall, shot and missed. Like, if I had to watch that? Oh my goodness. Moving quickly. You'll make it. Alright, 100% chance to hit. Alright, we'll take that shot. And then we can move. You to here. Yeah, and then we'll have an overwatch on this door, so we'll be fine. This thing is nearly empty. Unless this thing somehow comes out and crosses over in front of a chair. Barely got through the armor. Okay, we're good. And then he's gonna take his shot. Interesting explosion. Good thing we didn't have anyone in cover right there. So. Ammo's nearly out. Three, so we'll use you to subdue. Oh, we should use cooperation so we could have Verge take them out or do something Almost to them dry. before we uh. Maybe we can get all the way out there. Not really sure. Only psych up like once. Wired up. Once up. or twice. Then we we'll use smash here. Crash in the party. And move over Make to here. I guess this is the best way to do it. Low on ammunition. Yeah. Oh. Well, I guess we'll put them in the stupor, actually. It doesn't make my, sense my to give them battle manners. The only person that they might hit is our own team. We use Mind Flay, which again, see, what, how much damage will Subdue do? Two to three? 
same chance either way. And we have a shield, so we can just take the shot. We might as well take the shot then. Yeah, almost forget about the gun with Verge, especially since he has all these different abilities that he can do that don't involve his gun. Everyone got lightly wounded, but we do capture enough people to get an extra extra amount of intel, so that's fine. That mission took a decent amount of time. All right. And simply complete sacred coil. Uh, Celio Dash, why push XCOM to use your combat grade androids? K Kumo? This again, Celio Dash. People who suffered under Advent remember the horrors inflicted by their op automated autonomous mechs, Kumos. Our androids are not the same. They cannot operate autonomously. They require human, excuse me, authorized leadership to function. They are supported, support only. Uh, they do not function in parallel. Uh, from Channel 37 interview with President of the Momentum Foundation. All right, we have all that going on. We finished Excellent this. Excellent job. Gray Phoenix's tech no longer poses an existential threat to City 31. Interesting. We still don't know who the leader of this this uh, group is. Oh, all right. I Promote thought anything. all mutons were issued cats. What happened to yours? It's yeah, I never got one. How did you manage that? Uh, I showed capacity for compassion at the Bugtown Massacre. No need I think we've heard cat. this one before. How about you? Sectoids do not receive cats. They generally perceive us as adversaries. I've seen a lot of sectoids with cats. Yes. The challenge lies in convincing them otherwise. You were in their trust? That is how cats work. Okay, what to get into now? I guess masterwork pistols? It only take us four days to do. Yeah, that's that's fine. And then we've connected Gray Phoenix to a recent spate of alien abductions in City 31. Find out why Gray Phoenix wants these aliens. We need to get them home. Interesting way to say that. A lot of UFO conspiracy type stuff going on in the real world. I think I forgot to use a free field team, which is annoying. No, never mind. I don't have one. That's good. Uh, I think this is the second to last one that we have to make to fully upgrade, right? And this is the last one. Do we have enough to do it now? We do. So we have no more use for Intel, really. Friendly neighborhood. Because we have a field team level 3 on all of them. We don't really have a use for Illyrium, either. So what can we do in here? I guess we can do another... Well, we already have one of these, right? So we can do the reduced city unrest. We'll send Godmother and that begin and then patchwork can do um she can do and we really don't need any of these right now we're, all, we're at almost a thousand lira and we have a thousand credits so i guess yeah just just do another scavenger market thing i don't know when they're gonna come again we don't have any oh we're supposed to uh let's swap godmother out well we don't want to take anyone out of anything godmother okay Godmother can go into we need to train Godmother actually. Set up begin. Yes. And then we want to select a unit. Patchwork. Yes. Patchwork. And we want her to do this one. And then she'll be able to finish this gain ability step up. Alright. And I guess we'll take the incel since it's the lowest one we have. Chimera Squad, I'd like you to meet a ghost. During the war, he went by Sovereign. He ran the Shrike Network and oversaw their transformation to the mercenaries we know today. Okay. Yeah, I thought nobody was in charge of Shrike. So did I. But that's what Advent thought when Shrike was a resistance network. Is he our connection to Atlas? Maybe he is Atlas, or maybe he's dead. Until we know, he remains a person of interest. Interesting. He might end up being the leader of Grey Phoenix, too. I wonder how this is going to play out if we had... Do you think we should swap call signs? To confuse everyone? <laughs> I'm in. No, because I work so often with computer terminals. And you, you patch people up. Do you not like your call sign? Everyone makes assumptions about why I chose it. Well, everyone's an idiot. 
You slap software together like I close wounds. It's a thrill to watch you work. Thanks, Terminal. And I do like your call sign. Reminds me of how you are on the battlefield. Are you saying I move at terminal velocity? Your mouth does. Patches. <laughs> <laughs> Don't change a thing about you. That's hilarious. All right. I think that's going to be all for this episode. We have a lot of options to choose from, and we definitely want to pull this down because we do not have seven days worth of anarchy to let build up. We're probably going to do this one to bring down the um the operation reveal time and we don't really need any of these other things yeah that only gives one day towards this gives three three days towards so yeah when i do this one in the next episode locate traffic records uh that's gonna be all for this video the the first mission went way longer than i thought it would and i'll see you all next time